Is the cat Christopher? Yep. He was catching mice in the basement. What's that mean? I don't know. (laughs) (laughs) You just said it. (laughs) Howdy, folks. We're going back to you, me, and the TV. And it's time for the grand finale. The end of it all. Oh, boy. The final episode of The Sopranos. Yeah. And what's going on? What happened last week? Bobby is dead. Syl has been shot, is likely going to die. Tony and Carmela and the, Carmela and the kids have left. Tony is in hiding at Junior's house. Yeah. They're just trying to survive until things blow over. So what would end this for a positive outcome for the Sopranos? Like, they have to take out Phil so that... Phil comes to do his own dirty work. Tony takes him out you think so? before he can. <laughs> that won't I happen. Mean, that, Phil's, they think Phil's in hiding himself. Yeah, so. he is. Yeah. Oh, now, the hit gone wrong. Mm-hmm. Something think, fishy going on in Tony's crew. Somebody, a rat in the crew? I think so. Yeah. I don't want to. I don't want to believe that, but I think so. Hmm. Just can't decide if it's Patsy or Polly. I'm. I'm hopeful it's not Polly, but yeah. that would be heartbreaking. Which would be a good way to end the series. I don't think it's Polly. I think it might I be think, Patsy. I think it might be Patsy as well. So you didn't even think it was anybody until I mentioned well, no, it. No, I started, the end thi- of last I started thinking about it, and I was like, yeah. Especially when you brought up him, you know, the, the brother thing, which we talked about during that episode. I was like, hmm. Made me start thinking, like, well, it was Patsy's son that was at the dinner with Meadow when, once his name was Rude, like he went to dinner with Meadow to like put her in that position to be disrespected to I don't think, piss Tony off. I don't think that you know? was part of the setup. I think that was just happenstance. But. Well, should we jump in and see how this uh, all wraps yes, up? Yes, please. Let's do it. Well, first, like, comment, subscribe. Come hang out with us for the season finale. Series finale. Series finale. Of The Sopranos. Yeah. Check out our Patreon link down below for early access to our videos, full commentary, access to polls, helps big we watch next. Link's down there. Check it out. What? Let's do this. So social media, we know. Yeah, everybody know. knows. Let's do We've it. done this before. Let's watch the series finale of The Sopranos. Classic Rock Q1043. Good morning, I'm Jim Kerr. Coming up. Maybe a flashback episode? I think so. This looks like a flashback, right? Or we went through that day really quick. <laughs> is it possible he knows where Phil Leotardo is? I want to try to avoid any more of my guys. It's a fast day. Yeah. I figured maybe money sent to the Middle East. You're overreaching. He's hoping for a little, I'll rub your back, you rub mine, information. Mm. He's in his hideout van. Are they making stops on known locations? I don't know, but if I were him, I'd be wearing a hat or something. Like a fedora? Exactly. It's a too, uh, on the nose, I think. She smelled that odor, too. Oh, maybe it's toxic. Maybe we shouldn't be breathing it. It's not toxic. Uh, the owners were what? 90 years old? It's fish. It's just old people smell. <laughs> Wouldn't kick her out of bed for budget cookies. <laughs> I know. Nice work. Yeah, she's a model. <laughs> she's some model. Right? She's a junior in high school. What? Well, she is. We're going to stand out in the open at a cemetery? There is always a large FBI presence. You should know. At all the funerals, you notice them. Uncle Polly, come sit down. Yeah, I'll sit with you. I'm young at odd, right? (laughs) Hey, we were discussing dream girls. See it? You people are fucked. 
Fucking terrorists. It's more noble than watching these jack-off fantasies on TV of how we're kicking their ass. He's the fun guy at the party. No shit. <laughs> no, what do they get? Bling? Come on for shit they don't need and can't afford? You're all over the place. I don't know what you're trying to say. <laughs> <laughs> AJ cares about too much. We're gonna meet Paulie down the hospital visit so You wanna come? Nah, I got uh, shit I gotta do. My daughter. Yesterday was his gout. I mean, can you blame him for not wanting to leave the house? No. I'm thinking. I don't know. Maybe we can't go back. Are you out of your fucking mind? No, I know. I can't hear you. You're breaking up. I said I hope. Hmm. Still's leaving all of his guys out on a limb. You need to snag another husband. You're the only one who realized that's a joke. You had to grow up in our family. <laughs> I put in a lot of effort with Sophia. Baking together, I think we actually have a bond. <laughs> I put Ma and all her warp shit behind me. Oh, good. <laughs> I get any thanks for it. Oh, jeez. Sounds like Livia right there. I don't get any thanks for it. He's lambed out. He may not be able to put his hands on a clean cell phone. All right, listen, thanks. Really. All right. Colleague? She looks familiar, yeah? Yeah, colleague. Oh, she's a friend from Brooklyn. From Brooklyn? Mm -hmm. He got information from her. Mm -hmm. Advertising signs that con you into thinking you're the one. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking course. <laughs> It's mostly just illegal at this point, right? <laughs> He's like t 20, right? 19? 20 something, maybe. Maybe she's an older junior. <laughs> uh oh. Is this car on fire? Yep. Oh Christ, I parked and leave. Honey, put your shirt on. Like gas tank was practically in. What the hell started that? Her cigarette? Oh, did she throw it out the window? I don't know. I didn't see the leaves. You can grill fucking steaks on that converter. Oh, uh, no. Mm, just, just a hot engine. Because he had it on. Playing in those leaves, you'd have run them over. I guess. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> you mind your own goddamn business. Unless you want some of this, too. <laughs> Is that what you have insurance for? Oh, excuse me? You're not getting another one. Actually, that's good. It'll force me to take the bus. What? We have to break our dependence on foreign oil. <laughs> Tony's face. <laughs> You're not part of that family. You're basically retired. Everybody trusts you. What I'm thinking, you'd supply a neutral location. I could do that. Is this little Carmine? I think so. So the FBI is monitoring his phone calls? Hey, George. Hey. Nope. They're here. Somebody else. No, they're slow coming. We got a dead Guma in Queens and our old Ukrainian father. Oh, it was no. this Guma? Well, that explains a lot then. Okay. Yeah. Wasn't Patsy. <laughs> you got my word. We'll back off. My price is you help us get a location on Phil. I can't go there. Well, you do what you gotta do. You hit my brother-in-law. So? This is my sister we're talking about. She's got to see something out of this. We'll come up with a number. 
this is over from the rest of the family, but Phil's still at large. Right. right? That other guy that was sitting at the other head of the table that looked like he wasn't sure about everything. But maybe he was a neutral party. He was the one that's retired. Oh, okay. These are snakes with fur. You old Italians will tell you. You can't even put them around the baby. <laughs> Polly doesn't like cats. What did he say? I can't. <laughs> Bobby and my baby. Janice. Bobby's dead. Ambassador Hotel. You're Bobby. Bobby Bacalari. <laughs> He had no idea what was going on. Nope. She was inveigling him. She's after his money. No, she was just... Fucking let her be after his money. Who cares? He doesn't have any money. She knows that, too. She wasn't after his money. She was just telling him about Bobby. Yeah. Cleanse or something? Because it was a polluter. No. I'm just watching it go. <laughs> My seat melted. I had been in it just a few seconds before. Is he a sociopath? He I don't know. Hello. Uh oh. That was kind of like the time he went in there and the Virgin Mary was on the stage, right? Yeah. Carlo didn't show. And you don't answer his phones, neither. I'll call you back on a prepay. Which one's Carlo? The older guy with the white hair. Miss Hunter! Long time no see! How are you, Mrs. Soprano? Oh my god, when was it? Season one. Yeah, I don't think we've seen her since... Maybe maybe season season two? two. Yeah. So what are you up to now? I'm in my second year of med school. Oh. Oh, shit. Purchase. Got my act together. Yes. Uh, they're going to be here, Meadow. <laughs> I do not want to talk to you anymore. And the vet looks at his face and he says to him, my friend. A horse goes to the doctor. The doctor says, why the long face? <laughs> <laughs> it's like the simplest joke, too. <laughs> Even got into starting salaries. He was talking 170. Jesus, sweetheart. That's fantastic. <laughs> they're getting serious here. Is the cat Christopher? Yep. He was catching mice in the basement. What's that mean? I don't know. <laughs> you just said it. What are you, what are you... I don't know because Christopher was, a little, I don't know, maybe Christopher would be sniffing out a rat. Yeah. This fucking animal's history today. Pick him up. Polly so, never liked Christopher that much. Yeah. I'm staring at that dead kid. Gives me the fucking creeps. Tony said he's a good guy. No, oh, he can stay. He's a good guy, right? <laughs> yeah. I'm no spring chicken no more. I don't want to have me dying on you, leaving your worse off than before. Oh, you with the dead thing. <laughs> All right, sure. Go ahead. I'm probably just wanting more business. Yeah, exactly. This is weird, right? What the fuck's the deal? <laughs> Get in. I'm gonna join the army. What? Great. I gotta do a Rhiannon first. Rhiannon? What about your mother? Her too. Are you nuts? I think this is a great idea. The army's probably good for my career. You don't have a career. Right. Exactly. Was this her idea? <laughs> On the other hand, I'm thinking maybe he could benefit from the training, the discipline. Exactly. They almost yeah. sent him to military school. Yeah. But can he, I don't think he'd be able to, because of his fainting, his anxiety. Would they... Well, I did not have a very happy childhood. No? There was little love in the house. So we're making it about Tony? Yeah. You see, I never could please my mother. 
Oh, jeez. Hey, Mrs. Melfi. <laughs> we talked about that. Yeah, you said you wanted to be a lawyer for black people. Oh, that's all I said. <laughs> well... If I hadn't seen you dragged away all those times by the FBI, then I'd probably be a boring suburban doctor. So you created this, Tony. Bye-bye, Pop-Pop. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, Bye-bye, Oh, jeez. ...to call Dr. Iaconis. I should get a 60-day supply of the planet. Oh, my God! Bill! He found him. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> oh boy. Well, Phil's taken care of. Your old beat. Phil Leotardo got popped. Damn. You're gonna win this thing. <laughs> he thinks he's in the Soprano family now. He likes Tony. Okay. He looks just like his dad. Weren't that fucking robe? I don't understand. You're gonna ask the Donald for some time off from your pilot job to go on CIA missions? Everything's a joke to you. <laughs> I'm applying for officer's candidate school. I want to be a liaison officer with the local population anyway. There's lots of plans for when he's done. And they're all a bunch of different things. Point is, I talked to Little Carmine, and he's interested in developing it through his company. You would work for his producer, Inga. You would be, what is the word? Development executive on this project. Script reader. Run out past Rahuni. See what she says. Rahuni. <laughs> Rhiannon. Yeah. I think, I think it's interesting that... Somebody's giving grand jury testimony mm -hmm. on something. Oh, wait. So Carlo has flipped. We don't know. And subpoenas are flying. Call us that's talking homicide. Fucking thing. <laughs> ketchup bottles. Grab the knife. He's just watching the tits. <laughs> Tony knows where he's at. Mm hmm. Yeah, I know, I know, but Jesus, you gotta. Richie April. Ralphie M.I.A., Vito, and who knows what the fuck with Carlo and Gigi. Gigi died taking a shit. Doesn't mean it's not part of an overall pat. He's superstitious. Yeah, it's cursed. I moved the picture. The fucking thing came to the new spot and stared. He's Christopher. <laughs> <laughs> he showed up at the safe house, trying to be part of the family. Yeah. One time at the Bing, I was alone to meet Eddie Lynn. I saw the Virgin Mary. Why did you say something? Fuck strippers, we could have had a shrine. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you something deep in my heart, and you laugh it off? <laughs> I live but to serve you, my liege. <laughs> and there's no real public transport out here. But I said, no more SUV. That cat's totally Christopher. Mm hmm Now he's got a BMW. No more SUV. So he likes his new job, I'd take it. Not it's depressed anymore. It's not a school zone, he's speeding. <laughs> Build a new spec house. That one that they were oh, living yeah. in, the old people smoke. Holston says the consensus. All right, I gotta see some people. I'll meet you there. 
I was looking at the light of the sun. I think he's looking for ducks to come home. Sir? Sir, excuse me. He's actually going to go see Junior? People keep asking me. I don't know. There's a man from another galaxy that came here. What's your account? <laughs> You don't know who I am, do you? You remember Johnny? Johnny boy? Your kid brother? You two ran North Jersey. We did? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, Tony's not a sociopath. He wouldn't get emotional. If he was. He forgave him there. Yeah, I think he realized, oh. He's gone. He's, maybe he didn't mean to kill me, right? <laughs> like yeah. that was beautiful timing. Mm, onion rings. Best of the state, boys, I'm concerned. Oh no. Been there. Reminds me of you. Like every fucking time I try to park. <laughs> I'm not feeling good. Focus on the good times. Don't be shocked, kid. Isn't that what you said one time? You try and remember the times that were good? I did? Yes. Well, it's true, I guess. That's such an easy spot to hit. <laughs> oh gosh. Are there like multiple people here to kill him? Are you fucking kidding me? <sighs> fucking kidding me right now. That's how they end it? Mm -hmm. Now, the only thing I ever known about The Sopranos was how it ended. This this exact, this horribly shitty way it ended. The final shot, this final frame. That he looks up and it cuts to black. Oh, gosh, it just leaves the viewer up to so much um, storytelling in their mind. I think it's to imply that Tony was just shot. And I feel like, what was it? Um, when Bob, remember he was remembering what Bobby th said on the boat? Do you think you hear it? Like, do you think you hear it when it happens? And they were talking about, I don't know, ask the, the guy, they were fishing at the time, ask um, the guy on the wall. I think he was talking about it. Do you, the, hear, do you, do you hear, hear the, the shot? gunshot or does it that. hit you and you don't have time to hear yeah. it? Oh, God. So Tony looked up, saw Meadow Saw Meadow in. and that guy shot him at yeah. the exact same time. We don't know who it was because it could have been the two black men that just came in. There, it could they, have been the guy that went to the bathroom. Or the guy that, sitting at the booth by himself just got a coffee. Yeah. I don't know. They looked at him weird, too. I guess that was the point, though, right? Yeah. You're not supposed to, because, I mean, they used a bunch of different people to do hits throughout the mm -hmm. whole series, so it makes you wonder, who was it? I mean, the, it's Godfather-like to go into the bathroom and then come back out. Yeah, right? very. Mm -hmm. Ugh, wow. <sighs> Ugh. I'm not, okay, I'll take back that it's a shitty ending. Not a shitty ending, just a... <laughs> yeah. it leaves a pit in your stomach sort of ending. Yeah, I just remember I was in film school when the finale hit, and so I heard all about how um, how it ended. So I, it's the only thing I ever knew about The Sopranos was how it ended. I don't know how, how the road we got to here. So Wow. Makes you wonder, though, who. I think that's the big debate, is who. Who ordered it. Yeah. Who carried it out. 
because Phil was just taken out. They just had that meeting with the other New York guys saying, this is it. Mm-hmm. You can take out Phil. I don't care. I'm just not going to tell you where it's at. Yeah. Right? We're, yeah, we'll squash this. Or was that all just uh, for show and they were still going to take out Tony and then I don't know. deal with the pieces? Yeah, I guess that's the point. You know? You're not supposed to know. Wow. Yeah. There was just a uh, commercial during the Super Bowls featuring AJ and Meadow, mm-hmm. though. That was just it was the them in, it hugging. Was, it was <laughs> the, the intro. It was the intro, and then they them driving up, like a Chevy. They, I think they pulled up to like Satriels or whatever, and Satriels, and got something at the very end or something. I don't. I can't remember where they pulled up to, but they yeah, pulled they, up in they, a, Chevy, a Chevy commercial in yeah. like a suburban, I think. Yeah. But to Tony drove, so. and then like yeah, hooked. That's it though. I'm so. um, a little. So, I. I feel like I picked up what they were throwing down with the whole AJ wanting to go into the army thing. Like it was almost paralleling, right? Being a part of a family is like yeah, being well, it's, part it's of the like, army. It's like Tony part talked about army. how he he's a soldier, right? right? Yeah, yeah. They're all soldiers. So I, that was kind of interesting life, how right? how AJ was talking about wanting to be a you know a soldier of sorts. Yeah. Tony never wanted the the mafia family life mm-hmm. for him, but then he still wanted to be a civilian. You know soldier right mm-hmm. go from a civilian to a soldier in that in that sense the legal way and tony's like no that's exactly what i do- never wanted for you because that's what we are yeah right? kind of thing. interesting so yeah i mean it's kind of like the perfect painful ending because yeah. they're wrapping everything up in like this nice tiny tidy bow Right, his thing with Junior is pretty much. Yeah, I mean, he, he understands see, now, so he squashed that. That he's gone, like he. he, he yeah, mean, he walked away from that, knowing okay, I'm, no I'm good to here. Hold a grudge yeah. anymore against him because he's exactly. And then Meadows going to be getting married and getting yeah, going to be a lawyer. So her like her life's on the perfect trajectory that he would want yeah. for her. Like and AJ's, AJ's got, got his shit together, I guess. He's yeah. not depressed anymore. Carmelo's got a pro- new project to work yeah. on. Like, everything's like a nice, tidy bow. Other than the fact then, that they probably just witnessed Tony getting shot right in front of them. Right. And then he is taken. Yeah. Probably. I'm still trying to figure out who was the most likely person. Like, they went to that diner, and it was kind of a spur of the moment thing. It wasn't like a. A regular place that they go. They've never been no, to that diner. We've never before. seen them there. So, who knew they were going to that diner, or who would have known? I don't know. And how come they made such a big deal about Meadow not being able to parallel park? Because she, so she wouldn't be sitting next to him when it happened. That was just to get her out of the way. Couldn't they have just gotten all of that done sooner? Like, it would, yeah. I mean, yeah. You're right. Because I'm guessing it was the guy from the the, the bathroom. bathroom. Yeah. For sure. He came in with AJ. He walked in in front of AJ. Mm-hmm. I, yeah. I'm just trying to think. I, I almost think it maybe was Patsy. I know. that's I Because Meadow would have told her boyfriend, and maybe Patsy called maybe his son, said, and he just brought up, oh, they're, Meadow just left for such and such, and he called in a quick hit to revenge for his brother or something. I don't know. So. Gosh, so many... Different possibilities. So kind of like a choose York. your own ending. Yeah. Could have been. I mean, Polly was. I don't think Polly would have done it though. I don't he think was so. Just being really squirrely. I think it was his superstition. Yeah, right? his superstition. That whole shot. The whole scene with Polly walking into the Bing, the Bing, and it was kind of. It was the exact same shot set up as when the, he saw the Virgin Mary, Mary but mm-hmm. she wasn't there that time, and it was kind of haunting. And he felt it too. It was like, yeah, he's like, uh, I gotta go faster. She, no, she's gone now. So does that mean bad omens? Oh, you thing? think? So, mm-hmm. but in the end, he took the job. So, or maybe it was Carlo because Carlo's been missing the last two days. Yeah, they thought so he went to hiding. And Carlo flipped, though. Why would he set up a hit if well, he they flipped on him? Thought he flipped, but maybe he went into hiding because he set up a hit on Tony or something. The lawyer said eighty got, to ninety percent sure he'll be indicted. Yeah, well, maybe maybe Carlo was just flipped. So, but. That's, yeah, that was Carlo, not set for sure. Carlo flipped because his son got caught. Got caught. So he had he to, said, yeah, try to make it better for his son. They okay. he bartered a you deal with the feds sure. who said, "Hey, you you give us something. You flip on Tony, we'll go easy on your on your kid, right?" Yeah. Like that's probably that's why they brought up the whole deal. But when Tony had that conversation with Patsy, well, when they were having that conversation at the family dinner, when 
Patsy's and yeah, when they that was were an awkward meeting. dinner. It's very awkward, and Patsy had some weird looks on his face. Yeah, but that would be weird to kill the father of the daughter your son's about to marry. Yeah, not an ideal marrying, sort of right? situation. Mm-hmm. Unless he just didn't want Tony as father-in-law for his son, Kath. Right? Could be just a. Because he knew what Tony was capable of. I don't want this guy ruining my son's life. Yeah. So you think Patsy's now the boss? I don't. I don't know. No, Polly. Duh. Polly's the boss now. Maybe. Mm. I can't remember the guy that took out uh, Phil's name though. He could have been. Mm-hmm. I don't know. He's not a captain though. I mean, the only captains left were Patsy and. Polly. Polly. And mm-hmm. I mean, Sill in the hospital. So theoretically, Sill would. Yeah, he was he's... acting boss when Tony was in the hospital. If he were to wake up and survive, right. I feel like he would have the most allegiances to him. Doesn't seem like he was going to survive, though. Yeah. They didn't. He didn't see him die, though. Nope. And Tony's last little moment with him was kind of like a hopeful of, well, maybe he'll pull a Tony and pull out of it kind of thing, right? I don't know. Oh, boy. Choose your own ending. Yeah. And I'm sure everybody's got a theory. Yeah. What's your theories? What happens next in the Soprano family yeah. after Tony's gone? Well, we all know that that cut the black. We, right. That cut the black's got to mean that Tony's gone. So it could. Yeah. Yeah. Or it could it be something else? I mean, it could be something else, but yeah. you're probably right. Yeah. It makes the most logical sense. And apparently, you can't hear it. But at least it, I think it's beautiful that the last, you know, his last moment was. Looking up happy, at his daughter. Looking yeah. Up at his daughter, happy. Happy with his family. Yeah. yeah. So. Exactly. I, that's why it's like a, it's a, a horribly bittersweet, bittersweet yeah. sort of ending. All right. Well, how do you enjoy the ride? Six seasons of The Sopranos. It was great. I mean, I loved, I loved yeah. it. It was it, a really fantastic show. A mix of everything. Yeah. Really. Action, drama, comedy. It seemed like each character, they gave you reasons to hate them and to love them all mm-hmm. at the same time like there are these very horribly faulted humans which mm-hmm. i think is just perfect because we are i mean we are yeah. exactly what all of them are and somehow you manage to love them and like them and cheer for them yes cheer for them and, and horrible things want to so. find the redeeming qualities in them yeah, yeah. It's a very interesting. Uh, it, the show is more than just like a TV drama, right? Mm-hmm. Definitely um, played with the dynamics of family and friendship and loyalty. And yeah, I mean everything. Everything. Yeah, everything. It was fantastic. Mm-hmm. Well, who is your favorite character after it's all said and done, other than Tony? I know. I was gonna say. I think Tony. Right. I mean, Tony's the cop out. Um, Everybody can say Tony, unless you hate Tony for some reason. I mean, he's a horribly flawed human being, so <laughs> yeah. it'd be easy to hate him. Um, but it's also so easy to love him, because at the end of the day, I don't think he's a sociopath. There you go. I think Melfi was wrong. Um, Gosh, favorite character. Honestly, Carmela, I think. Which is so weird, because she's so annoying sometimes. <laughs> well, I think every character probably had their... Uh, absolutely. That's what makes phases. the show so fantastic. Right. Everybody... Like, oh, geez, at on. one point in time, every single character, you've been like, God, I freaking hate them right now. Except for maybe Bobby. I don't think Bobby ever had. Yeah, Bobby was a great guy. A negative. I I, I can't think of a, a scene where you're like. No, Come you're on, right. Bobby. I absolutely loved Bobby. There was not a time where I was like, "What the fuck are you doing, Bobby?" I even love this train hobby. Like, yeah, yeah. He's a fun little guy. Yeah, he's fun, a good guy. fun little big guy, right? And he, he only had had that one. That one kill, and one you felt kill. bad for him when he did you know it. He felt bad. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> And him so Bobby's your favorite stuck up for secondary Janice character. When Tony was no. Polly's my favorite character. Really, I just love Polly. He just entertained me every time he was on the screen. So I found him so obnoxious sometimes, but yeah. that's the point, yeah. you know. And I liked Christopher for how complex he was. I feel like Christopher was more of a monster than Tony was. Yeah, I think Christopher had more demons than Tony did too. Yeah. So, or at least a tougher time fighting him. Right. I mean, Bobby's in my top three. Yeah, for sure. I would, I would agree with that. And then Syl was always fun. I liked Carmela because she rode this crazy train with this man that she clearly loved mm-hmm. and this family that she loved. And she came in and out of love with him throughout the, the journey, which I think is probably accurate of most marriages, right? You, the falling in and out of love, I'm sure, happens. 
Not us, oh, okay. obviously. <laughs> you fallen out of love with no, me and never. fallen back in love? What, what did I do? I don't remember this. But, I mean, yeah, I something understand. that lots yeah. of marriages go through, yeah, right? The patches, yeah. And then, I mean, she has ex- such extreme loyalty for him mm-hmm. and their family, which I just think is, considering that he cheated on her the entire time. I hate that about her, and I love that about her. Mm. I hate that she stuck with a guy who cheated on her the entire I fucking mean, time. She knew the life that she was getting into, though. Does that make it okay, though? No, but she, well, she knew he was going to be fucking other I people. I mean, she so. knows, like when they're when like Janice is talking about how Uncle June and his Guma. I mean, they knew all about Gumas and all that kind of stuff. So, like, I know, but I think at the I end of the day, when you marry when somebody, separated. when you marry somebody. Even if you understand that the lifestyle typically has gumas, you're hoping that all of them are like Johnny Sack, where they're the one yeah, that, that is truly loyal. not sleeping with anyone else, yeah. <laughs> who loves you well, I think that much that they won't sleep with anyone. compromise when they were getting back together wasn't that he would never cheat again. It was that, because before that- he wouldn't that, do it in, yeah. It didn't affect her life. Because right. before that- That he'd keep it on the de- DL. She yeah, was yeah. getting it rubbed in her face a lot. And yeah. Since then, they're, they're, it, he never let it. Yeah, I know. That was their agreement when they got back together. And again, another reason why I love Carmella and hate her all at the same time. I don't know. A lot of strength in saying, okay, I get it. I will love you enough to stick with it. Even Also, it's interesting that you talk about their compromise. They had, Tony had these moments of cheating, but also Carmella had these moments of getting that close. Right? Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. With Furio. Mm Mm-hmm. Those two moments. Was, I mean, but they were conscious. They were there at she, every time. Those she had characters moments were around, of so. but, yeah, of emotional, of almost emotionally cheating, yeah. or ha- or emotionally cheating yeah. on Tony. Mm-hmm. But that's because Tony was not able to provide for her that emotional connection that she was seeking at the time. Yeah, because then, he was so wrapped up in his own emotional needs. Mm-hmm. Um. And physical needs, obviously. I don't know. I, that's why. That's what yeah. makes this show so well, then fantastic. You, you think about it, they separated. Yeah. She had her little fling with the, mm. you know, advisor, and then when they got back together, she was totally committed to Tony again. Like both of them, they had this compromise, and they both met it, and there was not really any other romantic drama in their relationship outside of just you know. Correct. Yeah. Their own, you know domestic yeah. stuff that they had to deal with they had their fights but there was not another okay so they both had their own infidelities yeah. in their own way sure there was no longer any emotional cheating that they were punching each other with because mm-hmm. there was in those first four seasons right right so anyways yeah complex characters yes all of them fantastic writing aj do you think aj here's an interesting thought did aj go into the family business or do i don't you think, think so he, Stayed on the straight and narrow path, going up. I would not trail call. Of, I would not say straight and narrow because who the fuck knows what AJ is going to do. But I don't think he has it in him to be part of the family. Family. Yeah, I almost feel like maybe this job he got led to him being a crazy horse club manager. At by the time that commercial rolled around the Super Bowl this year, could be. Yeah. Or he's maybe he's he's what Christopher wanted to be. Maybe he's a screenwriter. Yeah. In LA, <laughs> Tony didn't want. Christopher to be a screenwriter, <laughs> yeah. and AJ ended up becoming one. Could be. Christopher was his son this whole time mm-hmm. until Tony killed him, and then at the very end, AJ finally became his son and took his, you know, and Christopher's his, role, if yeah, you will, yeah. as okay. Christopher always wanted to do this. Here now it's yours, and I'm actually it's wanting a, you yeah, to do it's, it. Yeah, it's interesting. But it's also be, I think Tony didn't want Christopher to. Tell his stories that he right. didn't want to be a screenwriter. He yeah, yeah, exactly. His secrets to come out on, on the screen in the script. Yeah. So AJ doesn't have any of that other than, other than just he might hear down the hallway kind of thing. Beat by his dad yeah. a few times. I thought that was an interesting um, parallel as yeah. the season came to an end. It's Christopher had always, from season one, he was trying to write these scripts. And then mm-hmm. at the end of it, here's AJ just driving a BMW around and being the production assistant. So I think what. Obviously, it makes this one of the greatest shows of all time. Mm. Is that, besides what we've already talked about, is that its rewatchability is 
got to be extremely high. Yeah. There's going to be little details that you catch. Exactly. Like, there's so much. Because just if you think back, you could see little things they set up that get paid off seasons later. Yeah. Right? And little, I don't know, those poetic moments that you're maybe not paying attention to at the time. I know for me, first watch through... There's lots of times I was just watching things surface level yeah. and not seeing the deeper. So people who are giving me shit about missing all of these beautiful, amazing things, it's because I'm watching it for the first time. You're watching it for probably the, multiple, the third or fourth time. And I'm excited to watch it again yeah. in the future to pick up on those little behind the surface. Yeah. Because, um, yeah, watching it for a surface level, picking up on some stuff. Mm. The stuff that's laid thick, and like, then the other stuff that's nuanced and and beautiful is uh, that I'm missing. Like I apologize. One little detail that I remember recently because I just edited the episode last week with Christopher, or two weeks ago with Christopher Death. If you remember when he got made, that crow showed up in the window. Yeah, like the vaguely. Morning, the morning after Tony woke up after killing him, like you hit crows there was out a, the window. Oh, so it was like a callback to when he Christopher. Made the, the, became yeah, a made crows, man. Yeah, hmm. Christopher thought he was cursed because he saw the crow. Right, and then they brought back the crow monta- or motif, and you could hear it. See, back. I mean, shit like that that's yeah. there, but if you're not if you're not looking for it, yeah. or you're just not it's paying just a little closer detail. attention, sometimes it's just small little details like yeah. that. like the ducks, like the fly, ducks flying yeah. over the lake. At, Again, some of those thinking. things they lay a little thicker, so mm-hmm. it's easier to to pick up on even on a first watch, but. Some of those things are a little bit more nuanced, you know? I was really hoping Tony was going to mow some people down with the gun Bobby got him. I know. That gun never really that came That was not really a payoff, right? No. It's kind of like Chekhov's gun that never gets shot. Yeah, that was a bummer. Darn it. Yeah. Well. Well, what should people comment other than their theories on how it all, like, any other... What's your favorite character? Yeah. Sopranos? Let us favorite know overall character. Yeah. And give us a breakdown of why, you know? Yeah. Let us know why. Let us know why you love The Sopranos. But we're not done with The Soprano family. No? We have The Many Saints of Newark to watch next week. It's the movie. It's a prequel movie about Tony's dad. Prequel. Okay. Oh, okay. Cool. So, I think it stars the actor who played Tony's dad in all of the flashbacks. Very cool. All right. So, yeah. Well, it would be nice to have a little prequel action. I thought yes. you were going to say that they like wrap up what happened to Tony. But no. No. Well, maybe there's a, you know special flash forward scene that shows some, mm. some aftermath stuff but i don't know i wonder, I'm, I'm just wondering if polly will show up because i'm sure back then, yeah i'm so sure it'll be interesting to see i think a younger tony of course will be around so cool. as a kid so okay well, interesting wait. to see that movie how it plays out yeah right? keep it rolling yeah so get ready for that Thank you to everyone who watched yeah. this whole freaking series with yeah, us thank you for from beginning going on to the end. Ride with us. This was fantastic. In I can't. New Jersey. I'm actually excited because now I'll be able to, when I don't know what to watch on watch TV at night, I can just watch rewatch through. some Sopranos. And because it was a fantastic freaking show. Yeah. I'm, I can't say best of all time, but I can see why everybody does. Yeah. Or why, why so many people do. Get yourself some gobble ghoul and turn on the Sopranos. Yeah. It's a good time. Love it. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Like, comment, subscribe if you didn't already. And come back next week for the... Yeah, it's Many Saints of Newark. And uh, get ready for the next journey. Check out our Patreon link down below if you want to help us pick the next journey. Ooh. Poll. Or you get early access, full and commentary, and all sorts of stuff. Check it out. It's down there. Until next time, have a good one. Bye. Bye.